Hey guys, so in our area we have nematodes and there are beneficial nematodes and there are other nematodes. Pretty much all nematodes are beneficial, but some of them are not beneficial to our root crops. So, what I wanted to show you is what we have grown for the first time successfully and um, I can grow carrots, I can grow potatoes, I can grow um, parsnips in my high raised bed. The reason it's so high is so the ducks can't get in it and also because it creates heat for winter gardening. And because it's just a huge compost pile, I don't have to purchase the materials. But what I wanted to show you is that I broadcast seeded this so that I can give the rabbits what is young and excessive. And in the meantime, it's growing what we want for ourselves. And all it, all it costs is just a couple seed packets. So here's this one. Let's see, we also have daikon radishes in here. Let's see if I can find one. They're getting uh, bigger, but we need to let them sit. So, but more than anything, I need to just thin this out and let the rabbits have their food every day. And it means that no matter how many animals we have, no matter how many rabbits we're feeding, we don't go through very much rabbit food. We've had the rabbits for almost a month now, and we still haven't gone through half of a bag of feed because most of what they eat is this kind of thing. So I thought that would be encouraging. Because there's no soil involved in this, it doesn't matter we have nematodes in our soil. We only put a couple inches of potting soil on the top of our layers of wood and bedding from the goats and rabbit manure, carbon, nitrogen, carbon, manure, you know, all that kind of thing. So I just thought you guys would be interested to see that. And this thing is just about as tall as me. It's huge, huh? Yeah. So we've been harvesting out of this bed for months, not months, for, a, well, maybe it's been months now. I think Could have been. Weeks. Six, maybe six weeks. And now we're starting to see size on the things that are left, so we're really excited. Uh, the seeds that I get are from Mary's Heirloom Seeds, and I have uh, livestock books in the Etsy store for poultry. The reason that we do the poultry is because they keep the slugs down, and the other insects, we use quail in the greenhouse to keep the insects down there, and it works really well. And then we raise the rabbits for manure primarily and then uh, secondarily for manure and we have, or for meat and we have over 22 poultry each day that I feed yep she has over 22 poultry every day that she feeds and she gets paid to weed back so she's going to get back on her work so anyway we thought we'd show you that thanks guys